Hi guys, welcome to the very first SwitchCast video feature. My name is JV, and today I'll be reviewing the Waterfield City Slicker Nintendo Switch case. Now right from the get-go, you can see that it has a subtle but professional aesthetic, and you can't even tell it's a case for a game console. It's made with full grain cowhide leather, which actually is the highest grade of leather you can get as a consumer. So it looks great on the outside. On the inside though, you can see that the body's made with ballistic nylon and holds five game cartridges. It's actually quite a snug fit, and each pouch fits one cartridge. Though I do like how there's little notches that make removing the cartridge much easier. Now the City Slicker uses magnetized clips to keep the case closed, though you really want to make sure that the magnets snap since it can be a bit tricky lining up the two magnets for a full seal. That's something you really have to get used to when dealing with this particular case. Opening it up, you can see that it has a convenient handle at the bottom of the case, which makes it easy to pull the switch out. So that was a very good design choice on their part. Looking on the inside, what surprised me are that the sides are reinforced so that the Joy-Cons are protected properly. Another good design choice and it still keeps its sturdy nature while being flexible like a messenger bag. As you can see, there are three pockets on the inside and the switch goes into the middle pouch with the red side lined with micro suede lining to clean and protect the switch screen. Now the back pocket has plenty of the space and the front pocket is rather large too but you want the switch to go into the middle, obviously. Now there is a back pocket, which also has plenty of space, with a really high quality zipper and a sturdy external pouch. This all adds up to a very well-built, high quality product. Now let's go ahead and try it out. Now, as you saw earlier, you can easily put a switch cartridge inside of the switch slot, cartridge slot, and let's go ahead and put an actual Nintendo Switch into the case. All right, so you can definitely tell how sleek and slim this case is, since the Switch fits really nice and snug inside the center pouch without much give. The pockets are still have plenty of room, and you can even fit Joy-Con clips on the back pocket really easily. And you can still feel that it's quite snug still. Now I wouldn't actually want to put anything into the front pocket since I don't want anything uneven pressing onto the screen. Though if you want, you could put something like a USB-C cable on the front. Though, you know, in my case, I honestly would rather just fit it into the back pouch. Honestly, it fits really well like that and I like that it matches the curvature of the Joy-Con since it's, it's really snug fit right there. Now the top part is padded with cushion, so it's all covered and protected. Once you close it, it works pretty well. Now let's go ahead and take this out and do one more test. So the website does claim that the switch case can fit a 20,100 milliamp anchor portable battery. Luckily I have one, let's see if it works. And indeed it does. It's easy to just stick right in there. It closes pretty well. Now it's a bit snug and it looks like the fabric stretches just a little bit, but it's easy to open, easy to pull out, and it surprisingly works pretty well. Ultimately, I think it looks gorgeous for what it is. It's a bit pricey at 79 bucks, but the build quality of the case justifies its higher price point. And if you want a luxury case for your Switch, this is really the way to go. In the end, I would give this a thumbs up.